Hey there content creators, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are diving into Planable, the ultimate social media collaboration platform. Whether you are part of a team or a solo content creator, Planable is here to streamline your planning, approval, and publishing processes. Perfect for beginners, and I'll show you how to get started and make the most out of this tool. Now, once you are here on the Planable website, there are three options. You can log in using your credentials if you have already. If you haven't, there's two more. You can try for free, you can sign up for free, and you can schedule a demo. But of course, we're going to click the sign up for free button. Now, it would forward us to this page wherein you can sign up with your Facebook account. You can use your Google account if you're ready. Or you can simply use your personal or business email and just click the button to sign up. All right. Now, after logging in, you'll need to create your workspace for your team or brand or simply to yourself because the workspace acts like a project area where all content is organized. The workspaces is located on the upper left corner. You see that? So this is going to be the deep labs pages and the sample pages here if you want it. All right. I'm going to create a new workspace. I'm going to, um, well, actually, I already have uh, created the workspace here, right? But I haven't added any pages yet. What is the pages? That includes your Facebook account, your LinkedIn, your Twitter, your Instagram, Google, YouTube, TikTok, and Pinterest. I'm going to add my Facebook here by clicking on the add your pages, all right? You can add Facebook pages or... If you don't have anything yet, you don't have to worry because you can simply create a mock-up page. You see, you can create a mock-up Facebook page in Planable without connecting it to a live page. You can use it to draft, preview, plan, and collaborate on your content, but you won't be able to publish it. The idea is you just wanted to experiment some data before going live. All right? So if you're just starting up, this is going to be the perfect opportunity for you to create it. So we're going to click on the create a mock-up page and we're going to add a, add a cover, all right? Now, I have inserted the uh, mock-up page. I'm going to add a profile picture. Now, while doing so, I'm going to add the page name. It's going to be Deep Laughs. So you can be creative, all right? So for example, at T flaps. Now we're going to create one from scratch, right? So this is going to be the connected page. You can do this again to Twitter if you wanted. You can create a mock-up page for your Twitter account. And same thing earlier, we can do what we have done earlier on the Facebook page, all right? You can do it to Instagram, LinkedIn, uh, Google business profile, YouTube channel, TikTok, and a lot more Pinterest, threads, and universal content. Now, on the universal content, all right, all of your content finally together, you can create, plan, and approve your blog posts, newsletters, ads, and other types of content. If you wanted to create an, um, a universal page here, I'm going to add a profile picture. Now, you can choose the platform color. Is it going to be this? The platform icon is going to be, uh, it's for my website. It's going to be blog. The content style is going to be default, classic, modern, and compact. All right? I'm going to put in the platforms. Create page, and you're all set. Okay? Now, you see, you can simply create your first post right here. For example, I'm going to put in some information. Just like that. You can add labels if you want it. For example, I'm going to create a new label. And I'm going to save it as draft. Later, we can publish it. But of course, you need to publish your account first to be secured. All right. So that's one way for you to be able to... Um, Let's put it something like this and going back to the workspaces here 
Now, I have connected my Facebook page of the plants. For example, I'm going to click on the uh, cog icon settings here. And there's going to be an option that says sync content. All right. You can import and periodically sync published content outside of Planable. If it's not slide, uh, it's not, if, if it's not uh, turned on, you might want to click on the uh, slide, slide it on. All right. So it will sync now. And as you can see, the uh, information or the data on my DFLAPS Facebook page has been synchronized to my planable workspace. Now you have multiple options here. For example, if you wanted, to, uh, if you wanted to say something here, maybe this one, you can post. You can post it so that everyone can see this comment because you are working for multiple freelancers, right? This is going to be your social content planner. You can invite someone here all right of course you have the option to invite to type in or search email the permission level is these options they can comment and post create and edit posts access analytics and reporting publish and schedule manage users and pages approve and disapprove if you don't want that just give them like a writer can edit edit post and comment Approver can approve post and comment and guests can only view posts and comment. Of course, the admin has all permissions including managing users and adding new pages. All right. And of course, put their name and email here. Name is going to be optional. Membership is going to be around team. But if you wanted to make it to client, you might want to subscribe to their pro plan. All right. So members, company owner and notification as well. All right. You can put, get, get some notifications from the new post. After that, you can also put in the uh, comment now if for example you wanted to archive this specific post because it's already been uh, done and the analytics uh, tells you that it's, it's not a good post it's not getting traction you might want to click on the right upper right corner here where you have multiple options you can manage labels all right you also have the option to repost if you think that this is going to be a good one to uh, uh to rehash you can hide from clients if you wanted, but it's only visible to team members, all right? You can copy public share link and you can copy it to other pages or workspace as well. But if you don't want to delete, if you want, don't want it anymore, just click on the archive post and that's that. You see, you can filter post by approval, post status, um, feedback and activity, labels, periods, and a lot more, all right? Because again, this is going to be helpful if you're working with multiple freelancers or within a team. You can see the uh, video media uploaded here. You can drop a files here, images, GIFs for later use on your post. If you wanted to compose and post another one, you might want to do so. And as you can see, you can add another image, a picture from your computer. You can add URL thumbnail or carousel. We're going to do that right now. I'm going to add some uh, image here. And then you can um, save as draft or you can schedule. When scheduling, I wanted to publish this on uh, September 20th. All right. And these are times. It's all up to you. All right. And after clicking on schedule, you would be able to publish and schedule one of your posts here on Planable. All right. And of course, Planable offers free plans with limited features. But of course, if your team grows or your account grows, you can explore the paid tiers for more functionality like a limited post, workspaces, and team members. And of course, by following all of these steps, you should be able to start collaborating on social media content with your team in no time. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you in the next video.